हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू जियोलॉजी कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डील विद द इंडेक्स प्रॉपर्टीज इंडेक्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कोहेशन लेस सॉइल but before i go into the lecture i wanted to run one thing past you that i am planning to start a test series uh what i mean by that is i'll uh create a website of uh, geology concepts and will post questions uh on that uh, on the website in the form of uh, objective and uh, numerical answer type questions okay uh, which uh, we all know gate is moving towards more of a numerical based approach okay so what we need is along with all these concepts what we need is practice okay so if you do a lot of practice because questions are basically coming from the formulas okay so if you do a lot of practice then you can easily sail through gate exam okay so what i am planning is to introduce a set of questions on every topic every topic and we'll make it a weekly test okay weekly test okay so that Uh, by the time gate is coming you are done with all the numerical type question that can be asked okay which will help you immensely in your gate exam and uh, will also strengthen your concepts okay the concepts you learn in this videos here if you practice numerical it will get more solidified or more uh, nicely ingrained in your uh, let's say brain <laughs> so that you can you are not easily you know people get scared of numericals but if you see most of the numericals the grades are pretty straight forward okay what some are tricky but most of the numericals are straight forward so in order to master that we just need practice okay so i'll be posting questions now this is just an idea i'm floating uh by pass all of you and if you like it so uh, i'll create a poll here in the side so that you can uh, mention in the poll whether you want that test series in yes or no answer okay so i'll get an idea of how many of you would like to like me to start a test series okay and uh, since i have to uh, rent a website for that i'll keeping i'll keep the cost of test to a very minimal amount very minimal just like 30 to 40 rupees per test in inr indian rupees 30 to 40 okay maximum will be 40 so uh, so that i can cover the cost of my website and uh, daily uh, on every week i'll upload some questions based on numerical answer type so if you like this if you if you want me to uh, you know post questions and uh, uh, start a test series please let me know uh, you can either write it in the comment section or also you can write to do a poll so poll is more important because uh, that's how i'll get to know how many of you are really interested in the test series okay because uh, you know there are not a lot of books on in the market which deals with the numerical answer type uh, or uh, numerical based questions so it's not that i'll just post the numericals i'll post all types of questions but it will be dominated by numerical answer type so that you can easily get an idea of what type of questions can be asked okay so this will help you to be more prepared or be more equipped for the gate exam which is one of the let's say focus area of geology students apart from net net is also important but gate you can greatly get you into psus 
like uh, ONGC, ONGC, oil, and uh, NHP, NTPC. So many others people are hiring geologists, but uh, the gate exam is increasingly becoming numerical type. So let me know if you want it to me to start. So poll yes if you want me, and no if you don't. Don't want it. Okay, thank you. So now we'll carry on with the lecture. Hello guys, welcome to Geology Concepts. Now in this uh, video we will discuss the index properties of cohesion-less soil. Cohesion-less soil. Okay, so so in the la in the last video of uh, which was the first lecture of the engineering properties of rock and soil we discussed about the basic properties now in this video we will go into the soils and first we will deal with the cohesionless soils okay so uh, let's start so the first property that we are going to deal with uh, is the grain size distribution grain size distribution of the soil so um, the main thing that you have to understand in this is there are two types of uh, grain size distribution F first we have well graded soil now well graded soil means that you have all the particles that are ranging from a small to bigger size Okay, so it is graded well. Okay, from very small size to big size. So in terms of and second we have poorly graded. Poorly graded soil. In this we have soil that have only same size particles or similar size particles. Now what is important here to understand is that uh, it is opposite to sorting what is sorting sorting is if we say that something is well sorted if something is well sorted that means it has particles of similar size okay and if it is poorly sorted then it has particles of variable size different size particles are present okay so the thing we need to understand is that well graded particles will be poorly sorted and poorly graded will be well well sorted so this thing you have to keep in mind well graded means all sizes are present from small to big which makes it poorly sorted because sorting is differentiating based on grain size so if it is well sorted all the particles will be of same size and it will be poorly graded if they are of same size so this this is the contrast you have to understand poorly graded is well sorted well graded is poorly sorted okay now next we have the second property that we are going to deal with is second is in place density in place density what does this mean it means means definition is it is measured measured by weighing the soil Weighing the soil or the over dried soil measured by weighing the over dried soil sample okay measured the measured by density is measured so we have to measure the density by weighing the over dried soil sample okay of a known volume so you have to calculate the density of a 
over dried soil what means what do you mean by over dried that it doesn't have any water content okay so all the water is being removed and it is over dried and then you weigh weigh it and you know the volume so you can calculate the density that density will be called as in place density okay so next we have the second or the third one third property is particle shape particle shape so there are two things that comes in particle shape first is roundness roundness and second is angularity roundness means how smooth are the edges okay but one thing to understand here is round roundness doesn't mean the particle is spherical it can be linear and it can have round or smooth edges okay and angularity means how sharp are the edges okay so angular particles have very sharp edges and round particles have a very smooth edge okay but not to be confused with sphericity sphericity it means how spherical are the particles not every round particle is spherical but all spherical particles are round okay roundness just means the smoothness of the surface okay it shouldn't be angular so there are two types of particle shape next we have the relative density fourth is relative density so relative density denoted by dr is ratio of ratio of actual density to the maximum density okay and uh, it is given by dr is given by dr is equal to e max minus e not upon e max minus e minimum into 100 so here e max here is void ratio in loosest condition Okay. E minimum is void ratio in densest condition, and E not is void ratio in natural state. Okay, so this is fourth. property it is relative density all right so this is for this video and in the next video we will start with index properties of cohesive soil okay so till then keep revising and uh, thank you for watching bye subscribe to know your planet better